Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be shooting this Glock 22 here. It's a 40 cal. Uh, the gun is all factory OEM except for the slide. The slide is a uh, is, is from Hooper. Uh, the reason why I put this slide on there is because I wanted to, to, to get an optic on this gun. So today I'm going to be shooting it because I'm normally right handed. I'm going to be shooting one hand in my left hand. Uh, and I'm going to also be doing some movement. The reason why I'm doing this exercise is a friend of mine said that he was having some issues with this ammunition. Uh, he said that, um, you know, he was shooting it in, a, in an OEM Glock uh, and he was having some feeding issues where I guess these, these flat noses here were kind of getting stuck on the way in. Um, now, there's a good chance that maybe he was limp wristing it. Uh, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to see him. But, um, you know, he gave me these mags and he said, just try them out. And he wanted me to let him know if he was have any, having any issues with this ammunition, um, you know, getting stuck as it's trying to feed. So this one over here, uh, who is this? This is from, this looks like it's an off brand. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Okay, but this one over here is from Spear. So we've got some Spear flat noses over here. It was kind of surprised that he was having feeding issues. That's why I'm. Uh, I suspect that I suspect that it was a a limp wristing issue because the way these guns work, in order for the guns to work properly, the bottom of the gun has to stay still while the top is running back and forth. Okay, if you let the gun moving around, right? If you let the gun move around, you're bleeding off energy, so the slide's not going to come back all the way. So it's even going to fail to. Uh, uh, fail, fail to eject or fail to feed now it may fully it may fully eject but still if if if, if, if you bleed off energy it it may you know it won't go forward hard enough and really slam that next you know pick up the next round and uh and slam it home so anyway let, let's test this out uh let's start off with these spears let's see how they do all right so again i'm doing this one-handed um in my in my left hand i'm normally right-handed i just want to see you know how how it's gonna shoot. Right, let's add a little bit of movement here. Uh, no no issues with the gun so far. The steers fed fine. Let's try this other off band. Now, one thing I'm gonna say is these factory these OEM frames. They beat the shit out of your finger right here, man. Because I'm holding it like this. Uh, a lot of people have told me that they get calluses in this area over here when they shoot lots of Glocks. Uh, I like shooting the Polymer 80s because all the Polymer 80s, including the G43, they got this deep cut over here that really, that you know, th th this makes shooting a lot more comfortable. I don't shoot factory OEM Glocks that often, and I can already feel that this is beating the crap out of my knuckle, you know, my my you know my finger right underneath here so anyway let's try this one out see how this works definitely not as accurate with the 40 you guys see me shoot the uh shoot the um nine millimeter all the time moving and shooting that issue i'm def definitely having some issue with adjusting to the 40 cal here now i am shooting at 60 feet those are Two foot by one foot targets at 60 feet. Uh, oh, look at that. We did have a failure. Let's see, did it fail to feed or fail to eject? That was a failure to feed. Okay, so I'm again, I'm shooting it one-handed to get a sense of if I'm holding it with a slightly, because obviously with one hand, I'm not going to be strong as a, if I have two grip, two hands on it. Uh, I think that that's the reason why this person was having some feeding issues because when I was shooting this gun earlier with two hands, I did not have any problems. So it's just when I shoot it one hand, when I'm starting to have some, some feeding issues. Oh, another one here. Let's go back to two hands. lockout but now I'm back to my right hand two hands over here
lockout. So, definitely a grip issue, right? Um, so, I'm going to go back to my friend and I'm going to, because I can tell him, hey, listen, when I shot this in my offhand, one handed, I was getting, I was getting jams, right? I did get some failures to feed. Uh, but when I was shooting this two hands, got a much firmer grip. Uh, the gun was, I was just able to bang away with no, no jam. So what you got, what, what this clearly illustrates is that the, the difference that having a firm grip has, right? So when I'm shooting this two handed firm grip, uh, no issues, one handed weaker grip, you know, I started having some, you know, some feeding issues, right? And the, and, and the, and the reason is because the gun was moving around a lot more. So as it, as it moves around, you know, it doesn't come back all the way, bleeds off a little bit of energy. So basically I got, you know, I, I mean, I'd have to practice with this, get better at holding it a little bit more firmly, get a little bit more weight into it. Um, with the shooting it one-handed, my accuracy was like way off. Like you guys shoot me, see me shoot in my left hand all the time. Uh, and usually I can hit those targets even while I'm moving, okay? So today I'm pretty much standing still. And the 40 cal is, you know, as it's recoiling and it's moving, it, it's, it's, I have to work harder to bring it back down to the target, right? To get, get the reticle on target. Uh, so it's, it's giving me two issues, right? When I'm shooting this one-handed, the 40 cal, uh, the gun's recoiling more, so I have to bring it back down to the target. Bring it back down to the target. Um, so it's slowing me down. And also because it, as it shoots, it recoils more. It, as it moves... It, 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 it has these potential feeding problems. So uh, basically a good case for why nine millimeter is, is a better round for, for most people. Uh, now, yeah, great. When I was shooting this two-handed, no problem. I could bang away, the gun wasn't moving. I could keep the reticle on my target the whole time, okay? Well, but sometimes you gotta shoot one-handed, right? You might have to hold somebody back or you might be holding onto a ladder or whatever. So you, you gotta be able to, you gotta have a, you gotta use a gun that you know that you can shoot one-handed in your off hand. Okay? So this was a good demonstration where you can clearly see how when I went to my left hand, I'm not I'm not that good. All right, uh, you know, let's put my ears on. Let's try my 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 43. Now uh, another thing that actually this one over here, this uh, the Glock has the older 507C, right, which just has the 32 M-way circle, right. Um, so as I, as I'm shooting this one handed and this thing's moving around from the recoil, uh, I was also a little bit slower in finding that reticle and getting it back on target. Okay. So having a dot only or just a 32 M way circle, uh, clearly I can see here that it's slowing me down. I have to basically look for that reticle or I have to line up my sights in order to find the reticle. Um, so, so again, not having shot that in the wild, not having shot a 20, a, a Glock 22 and 40 cal and not having shot this, um, um, you know, a dot only or, or a 32 M way circle only in the wild, you know, I can clearly see that, you know, I'm not as good as I, as I normally am with the nine millimeter, uh, and also with this ACSS, right? Where I have that big 32, uh, the, that's a, uh, 200 M away circle on the outer sides. So I can more easily, you know, when I'm offline, I can follow that big circle to the center and find that dot. Uh, let's try shooting this one-handed. Come off the side a little bit here. All right, so let's go one-handed with this. All right, so introduce a little bit of movement. So clearly, I'm, I'm better with the both the nine, even though this is a smaller gun. I can shoot this better, uh, and also with this optic, with the ACSS, I can get on target, um, you know, I can find the center faster. All right, that wasn't my best shooting, but still, this is still easier than that gun. So, it's good, it's good to shoot these guns side by side so you can do a comparison, you know, get out a bunch of guns different optics um and, and see how you do so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching i'll talk to y'all soon